Hi friends, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to your mini lesson for today. Today for your mini lesson, we're going to continue talking about story elements and why they're important to stories. As readers, it's important for us to think about what we're reading while we're reading it so our brains can understand. We shouldn't be reading like robots and not paying attention to what we're reading because if we're reading like that, then we're not understanding what we're supposed to be learning. So that's why we're training our brains as readers to store that information in our schema, our toolbox of information up here. We've talked about the main idea and supporting details. We've talked about sequencing. We've talked about characters and setting. So now we're talking about story elements, the parts of a story that make it interesting. On the board, we looked at yesterday, our characters, setting, problem, and solution, and saw that when all of those are put together, that's what makes a story. That's why they're on different puzzle pieces up here. We did a picture walk yesterday of our big book, The Three Little Pigs, and talked about the characters, the three little pigs, the wolf, the setting, which are the different houses the pigs lived in, the problem, uh-oh, the wolf chasing the pigs and wanting to eat them, and the solution. The solution that the pigs came up with was to put boiling water in a pot and have the wolf drop right in there and burn his little hiney, and that's what happened. So let's look over a different book today and talk about the different story elements in it. We've already read this story, Run, Run, Turkey. So we're just going to do a picture walk and talk about the character, setting, problem, and solution. So in the title, we already can hear, run, run, turkey. There must be a problem going on with the turkey. And I know the turkey must be a character in the story. So we saw at the beginning, the turkey is very distraught, very upset, having a bad day because he thinks he's going to get eaten, right? And who wants to eat him? The farmer. So the farmer and his family are getting ready for Thanksgiving and they decide the farmer's gonna go out and get the turkey. Well, the turkey decides, ooh, I'm gonna come up with a solution. I'm gonna try and disguise or camouflage with different animals on the farm in different settings. So first he starts with the pigs, right? He tries to disguise as a pig rolling in the mud, putting a snout on his little beak, but it doesn't work. The pigs say, run, turkey, run. So then he tries to blend in with the ducks but does it work? No. So the ducks say, run, turkey, run. And after he leaves the ducks, he heads to the horses. And the horses are like, oh, that's not gonna work, try again. So he runs with the little feed bucket on his head out of the barn while the farmer chases him. And the turkey comes across to a Field and he tries to hide behind the trees and it works, right? In that setting, he blends in because he was able to hide behind something that did not show where he was. So he was good for a while. And during that time of Thanksgiving, the farmer and his family ate some other kind of dinner, which was grilled cheese. And the turkey thought, yeah, I'm good. I'm happy. I'm doing my happy dance. Can you do a happy dance with the turkey? Oh yeah, happy dance. But then, dun, 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 Christmas comes around and he's around the same area where the trees were. But he didn't hide too well because they spotted him, those other human characters. And so the little girl says, run, turkey, run. So now, if there were another story, it could be about the turkey having another problem, running away from the people who see him at Christmas time. So we're going to pause for just a minute before we look at talking about our story elements in this story so that we can do our secret password. Are you ready, Word Detectives? Go ahead and grab your packet for today. We're going to do it on the back of today's checklist. So go ahead and pause the video and grab your checklist and a pencil. All right, friends, welcome back. We are going to do our secret password. This secret password is going to be posted to your teacher's Google Classroom. This shows your teacher that you watched your mini today. Great job. So we are going to do our shape first. The shape we did yesterday. The shape I want to do today is a shape that has zero signs. And that shape is a circle. Next to that circle, we're going to write a popcorn word. And that popcorn word is... The. We're going to spell it all lowercase. T-H-E-U-R-E. What's our secret password for today? Make sure to click this to your 
All right, friends, welcome back. We just finished walking through the story of Run Run, Run Turkey Run, and now let's talk about the story elements that make this story interesting. First, who are the characters? The turkey, the farm animals, and the farmer. Where's the setting? On the farm. We see different spots on the farm as the turkey runs, runs, runs. And what's the problem? The turkey is going to be eaten. He's running away because the farmer wants to eat him for Thanksgiving. But how does the turkey solve his problem? He disguises himself. He tries to disguise his other animals. He ends up, ends up hiding though behind what? A tree where the farmer can't see him. But then at Christmas time after Thanksgiving, the same family and some other people are out looking for a tree and was the turkey able to hide behind another tree? No, he didn't disguise himself well enough. So at the very end of the story, the turkey is running away again. So if we just had the story that was like, yeah, there's this turkey and then this farmer wanted to eat him, he couldn't get him. So he had to grill cheese for Thanksgiving and then um, later the turkey was found by somebody else. What? That story is not that interesting, right? So all the details that we have in a story are so important in order for that story to be really interesting and make us want to listen to it. Great job today, friends, with your mini lesson. I will see you guys again after your break. Have a great Thanksgiving, a great holiday, a great break, whatever you do to celebrate or not. And we will see you next Monday for your next mini lesson. And